Live on Facebook, Twitter, Periscope, and YouTube. But before we get started, I do want to acknowledge the territories, the original land uh, keepers, the Mississaugas of the New Credit, the Haudenosaunee, and the Huron Wendat. And we're grateful to be able to work on this land. It's day nine of the festival, and I'm very excited to be here for the premiere of 55 Steps, starring Helena Bonham Carter and Hilary Swank. And uh, we have the director who will be coming up, Billa August, and we are thrilled to have him here. Billa, come on up. Hello. Hi. Hello. Good to see you. Yeah, great to see you as Hello. well. Um, so mental illness is a very difficult subject to portray on film. How did you make sure you were being true to the original story and presenting it in you know, the best light? We did a lot of research, of course, before doing this film. But what was the biggest challenge for me was to uh, establish the relationship between uh, the two leading characters, Helena Bonham Carter and uh, Hilary Swank. And uh, because it's such a unique relationship, so I was so much focusing on, on, on making this relationship right. And I'm wondering, could you talk about uh, the decision to cast Helena Bonham Carter and sort of what went into that process for you? I don't know, for some reason Helena Bonham Carter was always in my mind and, uh, and she was actually attached to the project for, for a couple of years already. It took some while, a while for us to get a film finance, but she was always a part of it, and uh, she's just a wonderful, amazing, amazing okay. actress. And um, you chose a shot in Germany, and I'm uh, curious, can you talk about uh, the decision behind that? Yeah, I mean, obviously it's about, about money, isn't it? <laughs> right, right. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> but it's, uh, no, but we, uh, it was, it's supposed to be uh, San Francisco, but we did a, a couple of weeks of shooting, uh, all the exterior shots in San Francisco, but we did uh, some in, uh, interior shots and all the studio work in Germany, and it was simply because of financing. Bill, uh, we have some fans who are uh, yeah. looking to greet you, so we're going to let you get on the red carpet right. and walk. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Thank you, Thank you so much for bringing the film here. That was Billa August, the director of 55 Steps. And uh, we we're going to speak with Helena Bonham Carter, it looks like. Next. The legendary and fantastic Helena signing some autographs, yes, taking some selfies right now. Uh, Helena Bonham Carter plays a mentally ill patient fighting for her rights. Uh, Hillary Swank, and we're going to bring Helena up right now. Hi. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Hi. Helena, Hi. thank you so Hi. much for joining Hi. us. How are you just, too? Yeah. I'm not very Great. good on my high heels. Okay. So, anyway. um, what did you know about Eleanor Reese before starting the film? Were you familiar with her story? Um, I had no idea who she was. No, I had no idea. And, um, Hopefully, through this film, people will find out about an extraordinary woman who is who is a hero in her own right, and also about Colette Hughes. The, the film's about this unique, the true story, and about the unique friendship between Eleanor Reese, who was somebody who had, who was mentally um, ill, and also uh, intellectually disabled. I think is the PC way of saying it, and her relationship with her lawyer. Colette Hughes, and they fight for the right to get her to have a say in her medication because she was treated as if she was sort of invisible and had no no say while she was in hospital. Right. Helena, this is such a complex role that I, I must say you're excellent in, and I'm wondering, um, you know, were, did you think about the pressures and stereotypes about playing mentally ill characters? I'm wondering, you know, did that come into your mind at all and sort of staying away from that? Um, I just felt I had to be authentic, and the main thing was I had to play the character, not the illness. Right. And I certainly am a swat when it comes to doing my homework, and I had the real Colette that I, uh, she emailed me I, um, with as much information. I, I was a sponge for as much information I could get on Eleanor Reese herself as a character, as a person, as a human being, because that's what she wanted ultimately was to be heard and be given the dignity and the respect of any other adult. Um, and so I, the illness and there were layers upon layers upon layers that I, that I learned about, but I also ultimately wanted to play her. And if I could distill it down, her main is, it's, you, can, you can play an action when you're acting. And I, could, I distilled it down into, she wanted to be heard. And I'm very touched to be here tonight because she is going to be heard finally. Right, right, right. Yeah. Um, 
And this film took place uh, in the late 80s. How has our view of mental health changed since then? Uh, oh, phenomenally. I think it's phenomenal. I think this has been, I mean, I'm not that I'm any great mental health expert or historian, or, um, but um, I think there is a lot of taboo around mental illness that has been broken down, but it's still, is, we've got ways to go. Um, so, um, definite ways to go. But at least there's a dialogue, and it's okay to talk about mental illness and it, um, and to admit to it. And then the legion of problems that come with it, the medication is one of them. And, um, yeah, there's a lot to be said. There's also sometimes a gift that comes with mental illness. And, um, uh, but there is a lot of pain too. But it has to be understood and it has to be acknowledged. And I think you, so you, you folks do that really well here. So, Helena, thank you so much for joining us. We're going to let you get to your fans. Thank you. And appreciate you coming here with the film. It's great. Thank you. Have thank a you. good evening. Thank you. Thank you. That was Helena Bonham Carter. Um, seems like she's done a lot of research for this film, trying really hard to, uh, you know, present the story in the most, um, you know, complex no, way possible. Right, no, she was great really at explaining her preparation and you know, what she did to get involved in this role. We have Helena, you know, signing more autographs and greeting her fans and just so you know, 55 Steps uh, premiering tonight. Uh, we're here at the Roy Thompson Hall live on the red carpet. It's uh, the latest film from Billa August and Helena Bonham Carter playing a mentally ill um, you know, suffer and looking f to retain her rights yes. from the uh, the medical uh, team that's sort of administering drugs to her that without her consent. And Hilary Swank plays one of the lawyers. Yeah, and it seems like the film isn't just about her journey, but also the relationship the two women form over, right. you know, fighting for her rights and getting to know each other. Right. It seems like they maintained a really close bond. And actually, we're going to be speaking to the real Colette Hughes, yes. who um, is portrayed by Hilary Swank in the film. Uh, so she should be coming up right now. Yeah, she will be coming up. Hillary, unfortunately, could not uh, join us this evening. Uh, and also Jeffrey Tambor from, of course, Transparent, uh, Fame, uh, also plays one of the lawyers and uh, Hillary Swank's mentor in the film. And uh, it's really their two crusade, their crusade to, you know, um, get Helena's character the rights that she deserves. Yes, exactly. And uh, we have some other members of the crew and film walking in here. Yes, exactly. We have Helena on the red carpet. Maybe wow, we'll take is, a look. She's amazing. Um, look at that. that that's something. <laughs> um, Helena working it for sure on the red carpet. Seems like a lot of people here are Harry Potter fans. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I mean, that's not like a bad thing, but it just seems like a lot of them are Harry Potter Right, fans. right, right. <laughs> Um, and once again, we are we do have the uh, the real Colette Hughes will be coming up as well as a screenwriter. We're looking forward to talking uh, to him. And uh, coincidentally, um, the screenwriter uh, Mark, his wife is also uh, is Hillary Swank's character. Is that that's right? Oh, I didn't. Yeah. I had no idea. I did not yeah. know that. Wow, that's amazing. So that's going to be interesting. We hope to bring both of them up. Uh, because it's her life, uh, you know, being adapted onto the screen by her husband, so that should be really interesting. I want to know, who do you want to play you in your biopic? Uh, well, I'll answer that in a second. We do have Mort Cohen here. Mort, come on up. Hi. Mort, Hi. great to see you. And good to be here. Nice yeah, thank you. Um, can you tell us about uh, your role in 55 Steps? Oh, yes. Um, I was one of the two attorneys together with Colette Hughes. I was the one who uh, argued the case in the courts. I'm a law professor, um, and I do a lot of work of this nature. And so, for example, I'm working right now on a case regarding the constitutional rights of uh, elderly people in nursing homes, as to whom similar things are happening as happened to Eleanor Reese. And by the way, let me say something about Eleanor Reese for a moment, and that is she was a wonderful woman who fortunately had the guts, the courage, to be able to come to Colette and Colette to come to me so that we were able to change the rights of mentally ill people to a, perhaps get them some respect in, um, in the institutional setting. So it took a lot of courage on her part to do that. So the story has been, um, it seems like it's something that's really important to everyone involved in the film. How is it seeing uh, something that you were such a big part of uh, be portrayed on screen? I filed today 
the appellate papers in a similar case, I have no doubt the judges in that case will see this movie and it will influence the rights of the elderly as it has the rights of the mentally ill to give them some sense of autonomy, which is not the case. You know nobody wants to go into a mental hospital or go into uh, a home for the elderly. This movie will help to gain the rights of institutionalized people. That's what we want to do. And, you know, the story is set in 1987, yes. and you're taught, you just discussed about how you're still fighting this battle today. Oh, boy. And, and we'll continue to. Right. And can you talk about progress and, you know, what, what needs to happen to really, you know, get the results that, you know, we need to? My wife and I were in a bar in Paris. The bartender, when she heard my wife and I talking about the movie, talked about the fact that her mother had been improperly treated in an institution in France. This case, and similar cases, have concern for people all over the world because in a, in a, uh, a book called 1984, they spoke of a drug called Soma, which was apparently going to make everybody happy. Well, these in antipsychotic drugs have been used. They don't make anybody except the institutional folks happy. And so what we're going to do, hopefully, throughout the world, is to gain similar rights for people who are institutionalized and considered to be less capable than the fortunate folks like me. All right. Thank you so much for taking the time to see with us. It's been an honor. You will. Oh, yeah. how you nice of you. Thank, thank you. you so much. Yeah. Keep fighting the good fight, sir. Thank you. Somebody's got to help me down because my Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. Well, there you go. Uh, he is a legend. Um, it's really beautiful to see someone uh, you know, dedicate so much of their lives to doing such amazing things. Yeah, I mean, it's an inspiration, really, that, you know, he's still fighting this battle for, you know, 30 years and continue, will continue to keep going. It's really yeah, an amazing really feat. Um, and I just want to mention, you know, we are here live on the red carpet at the 2017 in Toronto International Film Festival. We're here at Roy Thompson Hall, and we are here for the premiere of Villa August 55 Steps, starring Helena Bonham Carter, Hilary Swank, and Jeffrey Tambor. Yes, it is... Uh... It's pretty amazing. We just spoke with Helena Bonham Carter. It was pretty surreal, to magical, be honest. Magical, magical. Um, <laughs> and I just, uh, in case you're curious about the film, uh, the real-life court ruling uh, came down in 1987, saying that patients who were admitted temporarily could not be forced to take the medication unless a uh, judge determined that they were incapable. So uh, until that point, doctors had the final say of treatment. So this case really, um, you know, it. It was, it was fighting for patients' rights, really, and this is sort of the journey of that. And uh, using um, Helena Bonham Carter playing the main character, um, you know, and, and showing that story. That's so still ongoing. Hilary Swank plays her lawyer. Um, they form this amazing friendship and bond, um, trying to fight for her rights. Um, and I believe uh, Morton, who we just spoke to, uh, is played by Jeffrey Tambor, who plays Hilary Swank's um, real life mentor. Yes. Right. Um, yeah, Matt Cohen, uh, played by Jeffrey Tambor, and uh, together they represent Eleanor Reese, played by uh, Helena Bonham Carter, and um, it's a fact-based drama, um, and you know, we're really excited to have the premiere here uh, at the festival. Uh, are, I'm wondering, Sarah, are there any other films uh, you know, that you're looking forward to seeing that you hope you might get to see? Um, well, I've actually never seen a movie before, so this is a very <laughs> new experience for me. Right, right. Um, I've made that joke before, hopefully no one got onto that. Yeah. But, um, I, I don't know. I feel like there are so many. It seems like it's such a packed festival. I was trying to sh see The Shape of Water because uh, yes. the trailer made me ball my eyes out. Yeah. Um, and, I mean, Guillermo del Toro was the best. Crimson Peak was, like, one of my favorite movies. Of course. Um, I, 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 I did have the privilege to see that film early on the festival, and it's, I, it's amazing. Uh, I, I believe they've added uh, a fourth screening. Oh. So, I mean, you'll have to fact check me on that, but if they did, I highly recommend seeking that out. It's an amazing film, and yeah. I think uh, I think you're going to love it. You All know right. what, sir? What? We're done. Oh, we're done? <laughs> yeah, we're done here. Yeah, um, so that was amazing. We got to speak with some of the amazing people involved in 55 Steps, which is playing, which is premiering tonight. Yes. Uh, I want to let everyone know, say hi to everyone in Toronto, to Manila, to Vienna and around the world. Comment, let us know where you're watching from and join us next time here at Roy Thompson Hall. TIFF live on the red carpet, Facebook, Twitter, Periscope, YouTube. Anything live. Anything you could watch something live.
We'll see you next time, everyone. <laughs> bye bye. Bye. We'll take a look at the crowd.